Hey guys, welcome to Learn SQL with Bro. This is Bro Medishetty. In this video, we are going to see how do we access an activity monitor inside a SQL Server in the past three versions: SQL Server 2000, 2005, and 2008. There is a change in the way you fire an activity monitor. We are going to see how we open an activity monitor in a SQL Server 2000. In a SQL Server 2000 environment, you would have to fire Enterprise Manager if you are already connected to a SQL Server instance. As I am here, you have to go to Management node and under Current Activity, you see three different ways that you can find out. You can right click on, on any of them, or sorry, double click on any of them and you would see what are, are the processes that are connected and what's happening right now the activity can be seen using either of these three different ways but it is not so user friendly where you can filter out anything like what what we're going to see in sql server 2005 or 2008 so if you have to refresh it you can you can click on the refresh button here or you can click, click on uh, refresh here to see if there is a new connection that has come up you can straight away do it right away in this screen you don't have a refresh button so let's go and look at how it is in SQL Server 2005 in SQL Server 2005 you have to fire the management studio which is a replacement of the enterprise manager let me connect to the instance that we're going to monitor the activity for once you have the object explorer display the server and its nodes go to the activity monitor under the management double click it as i told you this is in 2005 where you can refresh right away there you can even filter it out by different column names so if you if you know the host name that you're trying to find out you can do that you can see by process id or speed you can also see certain other information like if, if it is already blocking or if something is being blocked you want to see only those activity you can click on that click OK and see uh, you know those two sessions that we have seen they are all gone because they are not actually doing any blocking so since we have set being blocked you can say all click OK now you see them you can actually uh, filter it out by the database name and so on like yeah the database name if you know the database name uh, let's say there are hundreds of databases on your sql server instance you can actually look at only those activity that's happening on certain database that you are looking at so you can do all such kind of stuff uh, in a sql server 2005 activity monitor again similar to sql server 2000 what you saw in uh, enterprise Ma manager there this is this also has log by process and logs by objects. Let's go to SQL Server 2008 server and see how you see the activity monitor. Just like other SQL Server versions, first connect to the SQL Server. And now if you go to management, hmm, the activity monitor is right now missing. Where it is, is right click on the SQL Server name and you should see the activity monitor as a pop-up menu item click on that and this is a more detailed view of what's happening on your sql server uh, let me minimize the first two it gives you an overall idea of what's happening on the processor what's waiting and database io and in you know, a batch request just to give you a glimpse of what's happening let's say if you want to see what's happening with the data i data files io let's say database has 10 data files and you want to see each data file being uh, accessed and how do you want to see that uh, how what's happening with that uh, you can actually see this uh, you can filter it out by let's say master uh, i know there's nothing much happening on the master but just wanted to show you a demo so data file io and then resource weights if there is some weights happening on a system you can see by this one and the processes this is again the same similar one that we have seen uh, in 2000 or 2005 just now so you can filter it out by databases, you can filter it out by uh, 
IDs and if you have host name there should be somewhere here the host name also and since there are only one host right now that's connected to this instance uh, you can actually you know as there are more number of hosts you can just filter it out by dragging a uh, drop down of this one so these are the different ways that you can access a SQL Server uh, activity monitor in SQL Server 2000, 2005 and 2008 hope this was helpful and thanks for watching